Hi everyone, I'm Elian from TheMaker.co and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create super easily some PDF or DOCX files based on the responses to your Typeform questionnaires. So let's jump into this uh, tutorial and for a start I have created this very simple uh, type form with um, different kinds of fields. Um, you can see there are some numbers, dates, links, some yes no fields just to show you uh, everything you can do when printing out data with DocMaker. So once you've created your account on uh, DocMaker you're gonna go into the dashboard and go ahead to the workflow section and that's where you can add a new workflow and we're gonna go with a type form uh, workflow so it creates a first uh, step in our workflow and what we will have to do is to, to connect our type form account so let's go ahead and click on connect type form it's gonna open window you may have to enter uh, you ty your type form uh, login information uh, in my case i've already done it so i can just click on accept and this will grant docmaker an access to my type form account to uh, collect the responses and perform some some operations now i can go ahead and choose the form that i'm going to use for this workflow okay now the form is connected to the workflow and I can go back uh, to my workflow and add a new step. And in this step, I'm going to add a template. So the template is a docx file that I can either um, upload to my Google Drive and then paste the Google Drive link in here, or I can directly upload the docx file to DocMaker. I advise you to first um, work with a Google Drive file because you will see that you can then edit the docx file directly in docmaker so it makes your life easier so i've prepared a very basic um, file a very simple customer request form as you can see and we're gonna upload this file into our google drive okay okay uh, it's very important that you use docx file not google docs now what i'm going to do is i'm going to share this file with anyone with the link so that it will be possible to edit this file from docmaker dashboard i'm going to copy the link and i'm done okay so i go ahead to DocMaker and I choose Google Drive DocX link. I'm going to choose a template ID. So let's call it my template. DocMaker is going to give a template ID to make sure that there are no duplicates in uh, IDs. And here I'm going to paste my file URL and click on save. Okay, now you can see that the template has been added and uh, a new step was added in my workflow. Now I'm going to click on this step and you can see that on the right hand side um, I can get all of the questions from my form and also a tag. So the tag is going to represent the place where um, the response to this question is going to be used in the form, in the template. So it's like a variable so and I can choose how or in which format I can insert this tag into the document so let's first start with a simple text insertion so I'm gonna copy this one and I want it to um, appear here so I'm just gonna do Control V so or or you can just right click and paste you see that DocMaker has added curly braces. That's how we represent the variables in the document. So uh, you will see that there are different kinds of variables uh, depending on the format that you choose. Now for the second question, the reason for inquiry. This one is a, um, is a multiple choice uh, question. So 
Um, the result could be a list because the user can select multiple answers. So for this one, I'm going to choose to insert it as a list. Now I'm going to copy. It's very important that you choose uh, the format before clicking on copy because the tag will be different. Okay, so I'm going to paste it here. I don't want it to be bold. Okay. Okay. And this will create uh, one line for each and every answer selected by the user. So that's how we represent a loop. The loop starts with a hashtag and ends with a slash and everything in between will create a new line. Now the number of visits, so I want to use this answer. This one is of type number. So I'm going to insert the value as a number and I can choose the format. So I want it to be, let's say in the French format. Okay, I'm going to copy it and paste it here. So the tag corresponds to the number format. Next one is a, a, a date. Um, you see here, it's this question with the date format. So I'm going to insert it as a date and I'm going to choose, okay, this format. I'm going to copy the link, paste it here. Okay. Uh, the client website, I've uh, created a question uh, with the type website. Um, this one, I'm going to insert it as, so where is it? Address of your website. I'm going to insert it as a link. And the text of the link is going to be client website. Okay, I'm going to copy this one. And I want the client website to be here. And as it's a link, I'd like it to be, I don't know, uh, maybe in a different color. Okay, that's where the color is. So I want it to be in blue and probably underlined because it's a link. Okay, now uh, the next question is of type yes, no. So with this one, I can use, sorry, I'm going to close all this so it can be clearer. Okay, so this one is a yes, no. So I can use a condition type of tag. And you will see that conditions are also of loops and the data um, between the loop start and the end of the loop is going to be visible um, depending on whether the answer to this question is yes or no. Okay, so everything between those two tags will be visible if the uh, client answers yes and not visible if the client answers no. So everything is set now, except for one last thing. I want to give a name to my output file uh, so in this section, I'm going to give a name to the output file and I can use the variables on the right hand side, only of course the text numbers and date types of, of variables. Uh, so I'm going to call it result underscore using this variable and dot PDF. Okay. Uh, I can choose here whether I want the result file to be a PDF file or a docx file. If I uncheck this button, it's going to be a docx. If I check it, it's going to be a PDF. I want a PDF, so I'm going to leave it uh, like this. And uh, the last thing I have to do, very important, is to publish um, my changes. Every time you change th things in your workflow, you have to publish uh, the changes to make sure that uh, DocMaker uh, is updated with all uh, the latest settings that you have uh, created. Now let's go ahead and test our form. So I'm clicking on the link to open um, the form that I've created and I'm going to answer like any client will do. I'm going to choose multiple answers here. How many times? 200 times. When do you plan to start your project? Okay, the address for 
a link. Okay, and, and the yes, no uh, condition. So I'm going to click on no so that you can see uh, that the section that we put inside the condition loop will not be visible in the output file. Okay, now I've submitted my uh, form and it's going to be sent to DocMaker. Uh, in the background, DocMaker has created a webhook uh, which connects the type form uh, to DocMaker. So I'm going to go ahead to the results section and I'm going to refresh to get the results of my workflow. And here it is, success. So you can see that uh, first you have uh, a line that uh, is a log of uh, what has been done. Uh, if I click on this line, I can see the details of uh, the request which was received by DocMaker from Typeform. So this way you can see exactly what your users have answered in the form. And here I get my result file. And if I open it, you can see that John Doe has replaced the variable. Reason for inquiry, you can see that the list is displayed. Number of visits uh, is 200. Um, I ch I've chosen this format with a comma and um, two zeros. The start date is formatted as we uh, asked. And the client website link is here and I can click on the link and it does work. It does take me to the link. Now, um, you can also download the results. Clicking on this button will download all the results uh, files present on the page into a large zip file. Sorry, in my workflow, I can use this file and add steps. So what can I do with this file? I can send it to a webhook. A webhook is a URL that you can create to, uh, for example, start a workflow in Zapier or in Make or uh, in Bubble or any app where you would like this file, the result file to be sent. I'm not going to do that. You can also send an email. So you can uh, type the uh, different information here and create uh, your email also using the variables to send the result file of your workflow to uh, some uh, recipients. Um, you can use one or multiple list of recipients. And of course, you can insert here the variables um, from the responses to your uh, forms. And that's it for this demo. Um, so we have a very flexible solution because as you've seen, you can edit your docx file very easily. It's super simple uh, for you to use. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And yeah, let us know in the comments if you have suggestions or if you have questions, we'll be more than happy uh, to answer. Cheers. Goodbye.